award ceremony, we would like to take a moment for these few announcements. First, we would like to thank Dr. Tammy Angeli, Assistant Director of Bands at Stephen F. Austin State University, and our contest host, Mr. Fred J. Allen, Director of Bands, and Dr. David Campo, Associate Director of Bands. Also, we would like to thank our judges for this year's contest, Mr. Dan Gibbs, Mr. Richard Lovelace, Mr. Val Rose, Dr. Charles Trailer, and Mr. Jim Van Zandt. We are fortunate to have these men who are some of the state's most respected band directors and music educators to judge our contest today. The officers of the National Association of Military Marching Bands are President Christy Jones, Past President George Little, President Killer, Randy Kaiser, Board Member Don Lawler, Board Member Joyce Grant, Publicity Chairman Denver Satterwhite, and Executive Secretary Jim Jones. It has been tradition since the organization's first contest to read its creed to the public during the contest. The creed reads, Recognizing the importance and rich heritage of the Precision Marching Unit, the National Association of Military Marching Bands hereby affirms to promote and preserve the military precision style of performance among marching bands of America and to encourage the superior performance of traditional march music from band literature. Therefore, it remains the pledge of the National Association of Military Marching Bands to keep the style of the Precision Military Marching Unit in the forefront of the public's eye by sponsoring this event and therefore retain their continued support. By promoting the competitive spirit of this contest in students, superior marching skills are attained and musical competency is uplifted by the rich heritage of the march which requires the most demanding of musical excellence. The educational values that permeate through the military bands foster those unusable, usable, lifelong qualities such as personal commitment, self-discipline, pride, dignity, respect, loyalty, responsibility, and self-assurance, and radiates among its members through these values and true meaning of esprit de corps. Tonight, we would like to recognize our four National Association of Military Marching Band Scholarship recipients. Ms. Christina Colley from Henderson High School, attending Northwestern State University. Mr. Luke Fields from New Boston High School, attending Henderson State University. Mr. Christian Haney from San Augustine High School, attending Stephen F. Austin State University. And Mr. Tyler Phelps from DeKalb High School, attending Stephen F. Austin State University. Each recipient was awarded a $1,000 scholarship. Each year, the National Association of Military Marching Band sponsors a music scholarship. Details and forms are found on the national, on the official NAMBI webpage. A total of $13,000 has been awarded in scholarships in the past four years. Also tonight, we would like to induct two National Association of Military Marching Bands Hall of Fame inductees. Our first inductee is Dr. Barry W. Donson. Dr. Barry Wayne Johnson was born in New Braunfels, Texas. His family moved to Luling, Texas, where Dr. Wayne attended Luling Public Schools throughout his public school education. In the second grade, he began piano lessons. At age 11, Dr. Wayne was playing piano in local churches. In fifth grade, band was offered and Johnson chose to play cornet. In the fall of 1961, Dr. Johnson enrolled in Hardin-Simmons University, where he played trumpet in the cowboy band directed by 
Professor Prof. McClure. In 1962, Dr. Johnson transferred to Sam Houston State University, where he studied trumpet. Upon completion of his bachelor's degree in 1965, Dr. Johnson received a graduate assistantship in music theory. His Master of Arts degree was completed in 1966. Dr. Johnson's first teaching job was in the music department of Texarkana College, where he taught several music courses and directed the band. After three years at Texarkana, Johnson became the assistant band director at Highland Park High School. During this time, Johnson attended North Texas State University in the summers, taking courses toward a doctoral degree. After two years at Highland Park, Johnson spent one year at North Texas as a part-time trumpet instructor while studying. Dr. Johnson continued his public school career as a band director at Hillsborough High School and received four UIL sweepstake awards best in class at various contests, and a second place finish at the Parade of Champions marching contest. In 1977, Johnson was named high school band director at Woodville High School. During Dr. Johnson's sixth year tenure at Woodville, his bands received six sweepstakes awards, best in class at Six Flags Over Texas contest, best in class at Tri-State Music Festival in marching, and best in class at the Cavalcade of music contest in Colorado Springs, Colorado. In 1980, the Woodville High School Band was named Class 3A Texas Honor Band and performed at the TMAA convention in February 1981. In 1983, Dr. Johnson joined the band staff at Lamar University as assistant director of bands and director of the marching band. Becoming director of bands in 1985, Dr. Johnson led the Lamar University band program to many honors and awards. In 1986, Johnson completed doctoral studies at the University of Houston, attaining the Doctor of Education degree. Dr. Johnson has been a clinician and contest judge for many bands across the state, as well as for bands in Alberta and Susquehannan, Canada. <laughs> While serving as director of bands at Lamar University, Johnson also served three years as chair of the Lamar University Department of Music, Theater, and Dance. In 2000, Dr. Johnson became vice president for student affairs at Lamar University. Johnson states, My career in education has been exciting. The help and assistance I have received from my wife, Patty, is beyond description. She has been the stabilizer in my life and my career. Our two sons, Michael and David, both musicians and teachers, have also been our pride and joy. I would be remiss not to mention the many students I have encountered during my career. It has been a wonderful experience, and I appreciate the hard work and dedication each student has provided. I want to thank the National Association of Military Marching Bands for giving me the opportunity to receive such a prestigious honor. Words cannot express the gratitude and appreciation I have for this recognition. Our second inductee is Mr. Val Rose. Mr. Rose was born in Jefferson County, Texas, and was the youngest of four children of Frank and Juanita Rose. Mr. Val Rose went to public school at the F.F. Austin School in Port Arthur ISD. As a fourth grader, he met Melvin Montgomery, the new band director and past director of bands at Stephen F. Austin State University. The trumpet he played was loaned to him by a brother-in-law who had played in the LSU band before he left for service in World War II. After Montgomery moved to Snyder, his new band director for the next two years was Jimmy Hudgens, another SFA former director of bands. 
For the final three years of his high school, Bell's director was Tom Jenkins. Mr. Montgomery got Mr. Rose involved, Mr. Hudgens inspired him, and Mr. Jenkins convinced him that he had some musical talent. After graduating from high school, Mr. Rose enrolled at Stephen F. Austin State College on a band scholarship. Mr. Rose owes much of that achievement to the influence of his wife, Susie. With marriage in 1962, came responsibility and a need to succeed in the band directing world, and Susie has always been there to help. Her teaching and inspiration were invaluable to the band programs where she and Mr. Rose both taught. While still a college student, Mr. Rose began his career as a part-time band director at the Gary and Joaquin schools. His first full-time job after graduation was at Moore Junior High in Tyler. In 1964, he became the director at Overton and led the high school band to their first sweepstakes in 14 years. The next year, he moved to Troop and again led their band to sweepstakes. In 1966, Mr. Rose moved to the Jacksonville High School job where the band had never made a first division at a UIL concert contest. When he left Jacksonville 13 years later, he left eight consecutive years of sweepstakes. The concert band had been state honor band finalists, and the marching band had won numerous best in class at the HEB marching contest. After a brief fling at a fundraising job, Mr. Rose led the White Oak High School Band to a sweepstakes in 1981. In 1986, Mr. Rose moved to Nederland as director of bands. The Nederland High School Band grew from 86 to over 260 members. The concert band was a TMEA band finalist, honor band, three times. The Nederland Band won Best in Class at the Namby Contest seven times. Mr. Rose retired in May 2000 as Director of Bands and Music Education Administrator. His, son's Greg, his son Greg was hired to replace him as Director of Bands at Nederland High School. Mr. Rose also worked for two and one half years, 2001 to 2004, in the Student Affairs Division at Lamar University. He thoroughly enjoyed working for friends Dr. Barry Johnson and Dr. Jimmy Simmons. Mr. Rose held offices in UIL Regions 4, 21, and 10, including TMEA Region Chairman and Band Chairman, UIL Executive Secretary, Band Contest Chairman, and State Advisory Council Member. He is a charter member of TMAA, and a member of the Alpha Chapter of Phi Beta Mu. Mr. Rose honored in 2001 with induction into the SFASU Band Director Hall of Fame. In 2007, Mr. Rose was presented with the Meritorious Achievement Award by the Texas Bandmasters Association. A great many of Mr. Rose's former students have become band directors or involved in music education, and this is a source of joy. Mr. Rose feels fortunate to have taught and led bands to sweepstakes in every Texas high school classification, 1A through 5A, and he gives thanks to all the students and teachers who had a part in that achievement. A special thrill is seeing son Greg become an, becoming an outstanding band director and daughter Shannon Rose Ship become a fine elementary school teacher for the Gladewater ISD. Thank you, Mr. Valrose.
We would like to thank all the bands for participating in today's contest by asking the drum majors representing each band to step forward and be recognized as we call your name. Representing West Sabine Band, directed by Evan Richardson, is drum major Hunter Rhodes. <laughs> Representing the Hemphill High School Band, directed by Lane Palmer, is drum majors Uriel Gonzalez and Sherry Nasseri.
Representing the Brownsboro High School Band, directed by Jeff Russell, our drum majors Josh Parker and Reagan Howard. Representing the Pittsburgh High School Band, directed by Austin Desmond, our drum major Mauricio Burgos. Representing the Huntsville High School Band, directed by John Green, our drum major Katie Newman. Greg Sanderson and Will Poranjo. <laughs> Representing the Hallsville High School Band, directed by Sherry Morgan, our drum major Anna Emerson and Katie Smith. Under the direction of Stephen Moore, our drum majors Haley Petty, Haley Horton, Carrie Weaver, and head drum major Aiden Nichols. <laughs> Presenting the Montgomery High School Band, directed by Matthew Martinez, our drum majors Matthew Henderson and Chris Heimel. Band, directed by George Little, our drum major, Megan Ivar, and Ivan. 